Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Yeah, we got the post made for the uh, telescope to mount on. This is an extension for the post that's in the ground. Um, <clears throat> one end will go, let's see, that end bolts onto the existing post. And that one is 5 inch. This one is 4 inch. Nice thick wall stuff. That's the plate that will <laughs> the telescope will mount on indirectly by way of this plate. And a telescope mount will go right here and these holes will give us our adjustment to polar align it. <clears throat> and then these four will be to get it level. The post is level but uh, I'm sure that there'll be a little variation by the time you get everything bolted together. So we got a place to compensate for that. So it's a matter of getting it up there and install it, I guess. Aaron's getting anxious. Kind of curious myself, see how it's going to work. Now we got the post mounted. Telescope's on it. It's a bit closer to the back wall than we anticipated, but I guess it'll it'll work. He's a skinny guy, so he says he's happy with it. So I guess if he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. Okay, it's another day. I <clears throat> Aaron was happy with where the telescope was, said he could work with it because he was a skinny guy, but. I wasn't happy with it. Didn't sleep good because of it. <laughs> so I decided that I'm going to attempt to pick the building up and move it back a little bit so the telescope will have more room behind it. So I got a floor jack and these back blocks that are put in there buried I've got uh, dug out behind them so I can move them back. I can't just slide it on them because I used the 10 inch blocks with a notch in them and I put the 4x4s up against the notch. So in that respect it worked against me, but we'll get her. And uh, I get this then jacked up and I'm gonna put one of these under each one, a uh, piece of 3 quarter inch pipe um, and jack front up and do the same and then hopefully we're going to be able to push it back and it'll be lifted off of the all the ones in the middle and we can just set it back down that's the plan we'll see if it'll work okay I got the jack stuck under there just enough room Yeah, she's lifting. I gotta move the block back before I do that. Duh.
one. You get the idea it's going to take me a while to do that so um, get this end done we'll go do the other end okay here's the setup for the front I got a dug a little level spot for concrete block set the jack on it just the uh, frame of the jack so the wheels won't move and the front of the jack is on a 2x4 and a one by six I think and I got a piece of blocking and pretty hefty board underneath so we'll see what happens okay. well she's coming up see light underneath all of the piers. Okay, I'm going to let her down until she just touches. Aaron's not here right now, so I'm going to wait till he gets back before we attempt to move this thing. Okay, just touch him. All right, Aaron gets here, we'll see if we can move it. Okay, right, here we go. My heart shakes a little bit with these things. I get a little nervous sometimes. <laughs> with this kind of moving building stuff, we've spent a lot of time with it, so I guess I get a little bit nervous. It went a lot easier than I expected. Yeah, we had a rainy day, so I uh, dug through my collection and I found a battery charger out of a camper. Somebody was trashing a camper and wanted to know if I wanted it 20 years ago. And of course, I never say no. <laughs> and I had a hard time finding it because it was kind of buried. But she's an old school one, which is what I like anyways. Transformer based, no electronic stuff. And if you plug it in regular electric it'll charge about 60 amps it says it's 30 amps uh, of course these things never work well on a generator um, but with a generator this one will charge about 30 amps so it's going to be just about what we wanted the uh, circuit breakers that were in here were bad and they were 120 volt ones anyways so I got some DC ones mounted in there. So we're all set for the DC side. So I'll show you the battery we're going to use. Okay, that's the battery. It's uh, half of a forklift battery. There were three 8-volt batteries. They were dry when I got them. And I cut two cells off of one of them right here. So now I got 12 volts. And I used this on my uh, camper for a while. Then we got a new camper. I decided not to, to go with this. And we got a 1,000 watt inverter there that we're going to use. I've been doing some experimenting with it. And I'll show you the battery box. And this is the battery box. 
I'll just set it over top of that battery. It'll set out on the on the back deck, I guess you'd call it. And the main charging source is going to be uh, some solar panels. This uh, battery charger is just for backup mostly. If we get some days, which I'm sure we will with no sun and he wants to be there, we can fire up a little generator and run things. So that was yesterday's progress. It's sun shining today, so we ought to be able to get some more stuff done on the building itself. Okay, been doing a little work. Got uh, ceiling in the warm room. And I got some electrical stuff started. Uh, got a jump box hooked up to it. Aaron was able to use things last night. I just got a, uh, I made a little terminal point, I guess you'd call it. It's got a, I oh, can't remember if it's a 100 amp or 200 amp fuse between the battery and everything else, inverter. And I got that battery uh, eliminator charger out of a camper set up and it comes up here to two terminal points here which are going to be used for I'm going to use one for each room there's a uh, breaker for each in that converter and I run some 12 volt DC wiring for the lighting and I use some uh, extension cords and just other light wire that I had um, <coughs> And the one that's furthest away is up here. And before I hooked the light up, I shorted the wires together because I wanted to make sure everything was going to work and the breaker tripped right away. Um, there wasn't any delay at all. So everything should be safe. Um, what we got are white lights. And yeah, I guess I got to turn them on, haven't I? Duh. Okay, there we go. We have white lights and we have red lights. So that'll be the lighting and the same for in here. The red and the white. And it seemed to be adequately bright last night when he was out here working. And uh, at this point, we're going to put the battery in the box. And I'm going to mount the receptacle down here. And it's going to have a cord that goes out to the generator. So that, and that's just going to go to that receptacle. And we'll be able to plug the battery charger eliminator into that receptacle. And then if he wants to run a, a heater or something a little bit heavier, the other plug will be used for that uh, by way of the generator. And I still have to put in some uh, 120 volt outlets. Probably have a couple in this room and one out here in this room. And then we need to put a uh, cigarette lighter plug for the 12 volt stuff for the uh, telescope power. So that's where we're at now. Okay, got the battery here, we're going to put it in place. Yelling at each other? No. <laughs> Let's 
snow. Let's try to look from the box over top of it now. Alright. This is so heavy. <laughs> really? This has to be a bit closer. Okay, lift it off again. Yeah. Oh. You're just scooching it over a bit closer to the other battery. I'm going to make him feel tall today. Let me do a little bit. Cable on the line or something? Yeah, I'm pulling it. Lift it up and get it out of there. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess I made a tight fit, didn't I? Yeah, well. In a storm, we shouldn't have to worry about it either. Oh, that's a There we go. Just like so. Alright, so it looks like it's going to work. I'll have to get a hole through here, go into that panel. So that'll be our next move. I was pulled it apart here. Oh, darn. So. Okay, got some adjustments to do, but you get the idea. Okay, I got one of the cables figured out lengthwise. That's going to go in for the main fade. I got a nice big lug. And I got a nice big pincher. I'm not sure what size cable that is. It looks very similar to the size welding cable on my 125 amp jobber. There's no markings on it. Oh boy. There she goes. Oh yeah, she's crimped on there good. So I got to make another one. This is for the plus side. I got to make one for the minus side and then one from the uh, terminal block to the inverter. So I'll get those done next. Okay, I put a piece of uh, non-metallic seal tight through the wall and into the battery box for the battery cables to run through uh, protect them from the sharp metal and the weather and it goes up here to the uh, 100 amp fuse and from the fuse it goes to um, the power converter charger and it also goes up to the inverter, positive, and the negative from the inverter comes back to the negative terminal, which is common here. And the power that goes down into the converter also hooks to the these two breakers, which come back up here to these terminals and go to the lights in the building. So, and out in the battery box, there's a main disconnect which I have between the two sections of battery so we'll flip that baby on kind of an emergency on the outside of the building if it happened to need it close that up and let's see turn the inverter on she powered up and what do I have here to plug in See the tuck all the power tools back down because they were getting deep in here. Oh, I got a fan. Yep, oh, yep, oh, there she goes. So, we have power. And the plan is the outlets that I'm going to wire in here are going to be the first outlet's just going to have a power cord going to it and it's going to plug into the inverter and if for some reason uh, the battery's dead or 
whatever and we need to run a generator I'll have the outlet down here which I don't have installed yet that'll go out to the generator and we can just switch over to that so kind of a redundant system I guess but unless we have a wake and no sun or something and he's up here a lot that battery should be able to supply this inverter for everything he needs to do. We used to run it in the camper for I don't know, we were in the microwave and made coffee and toast and stuff every day for uh, usually a couple of days uh, even if we didn't have any sun so I'm pretty sure it should be fine so I think I'm going to wrap this video up uh, I got some other things that I got to catch up on, like I got to get the car inspected and I got to clean up some of this stuff that I've got out for this project. So if you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. See you next time.